Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out a very tiny and portable audio interface that converts any XLR signal into an audio interface so that you can connect it to your computer or your tablet. This thing is extremely small and portable. There is a preamp built into the interface that can add up to 60 decibels of gain. It can provide 48 volts of phantom power. And there's an app that you can use with it to control things such as EQ, compression, limiter, updating the firmware and stuff like that. It also has a headphone jack so you have latency free monitoring. And this is the Shure MVX2U. Normally this is the part of the video where I say we're checking out this guy right here and then I hold it up in front of the camera. However, all of the audio that you are going to hear in this video is going to be recorded into this device. So many thanks to Sweetwater for sending this over to check out for the channel. While Sweetwater did send this over to check out for the channel, as always, all the opinions in this video are my own. I don't think I've ever really seen an audio interface that's this portable and tiny and has this many features built into it. It's pretty cool. And if you decide that this is something that is right for you, you can find purchase links on where to purchase from Sweetwater down below in the description. That's enough of the intro. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more music gear tutorials and reviews like this in the future. And let's go ahead and get started. So here's the device right here. It's so tiny and compact. It fits in the palm of my hand. So easy to bring anywhere that you need. XLR up here in the front for plugging in a microphone. And the back here, you have USB-C in and a headphone 3.5 millimeter out. It does come with the USB-C to USB-C cable. Of course, you can always use USB-C to USB-A to connect to it with your computer. But I'm glad that it's the updated USB-C. Connect it in the back here. Plug in a microphone up in the front. I'm just gonna plug in just a standard Shure SM58 for the example here. and then you can connect it to either a tablet or to your computer. So you can see I'm able to record into my iPad as well. Look how easy that was. Hey, check in the mic, one, two, test, test. Check in the mic, one, two, check, check. So you can hear I recorded it a little too hot actually. And that is what the software is for, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. And you do get the headphone out for a latency free monitoring so you can hear what you're doing as well. So I can connect some in-ear monitors to this and listen to what's being recorded. Really cool. We're connecting it to a computer. You can see I've just connected it to my computer and in Logic, I just go to settings to audio, input device, and I set it to the Shure MVX2U. And just automatically found it. I'll do the same thing in Ableton, just like any audio interface. Doesn't get easier than that. So there is software you want to download. It works on Mac or PC. It's the Shure Plus Motif. I'll link to it down below. So if you're not connected, you need to connect it to your computer. But once you do, it'll automatically find it. And you have a few different options. You can have auto level or manual. Auto levels, you're going to have just some simple settings, whereas manual mode, you'll be able to dial it in further. So in auto level mode, so you can say where the mic position is. Is it near your face or farther away? You can set the tone, dark, natural, or bright. Set the gain, quieter or louder. Turn on phantom power. You do have a way to mute the microphone phone as well. You also can update the firmware, which is something that I actually didn't realize I needed to do while I was filming this. So now the firmware is updated. And of course, you can save presets up here as well. So I could save this as a certain preset if I'm really happy with it. But going into manual mode, which is what I prefer, manual mode gives you more control over all the details. So I can set the mic gain appropriately. I can turn on an equalizer and you know I can bump the 4K, drop the 1K, drop the 100 and so on and so forth and have more control over the EQ. I also have a high pass filter, which I definitely use for vocals. You can set a limiter on and turn the compressor up from light, medium or heavy. Monitor mix means what comes out of the headphone monitor. Do you wanna hear the mic or do you wanna hear the playback? That's really cool. Just drive or do you want to hear everything that's going on as well? That's nice that it gives you that as an option. And then of course, you can save the preset if you want so that you can come back to it later. Pretty incredible that you get so much control over this tiny portable device. The software allows you to get it to sound exactly how you need it to. Really nice that this is included in such a portable device. So really cool device, really portable, really flexible with all the features that it has. It's so tiny, it's so easy to bring anywhere that you need it to. And as of time shooting, it's listed at 129. And again, if you are interested in purchasing this, you can find purchase links to purchase from Sweetwater down below in the description. So who could benefit from this? Anyone who needs a portable audio interface. This is so easy to travel, just have it in your backpack. Singers, podcasters, musicians, musicians on the road. If you're traveling, this is definitely a huge plus. Even if you just need to record, you know, voiceover stuff at home or just a single instrument at home, it's still a really nice and clean sounding interface, even if you don't need the portability, but the portability is definitely a huge plus. I was blessed really recently to play for a week out in Mexico, and one of the musicians that I played with needed to do some production there. And this could have definitely helped him out, but it definitely made me realize, hey, I could probably bring this next time that you know I'm out of town for a while and I could still work on YouTube videos while I'm out of town. Really cool, so this will be the device that I use when I travel and I need to record 
videos for YouTube or any sort of audio or voiceover or something like that. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. It does a ton to help out the channel and feed the YouTube algorithm gods and I would appreciate it. So two other videos of mine to check out. I did release a video recently on some wireless studio headphones. They are wireless, not Bluetooth headphones. Really cool. And also the video that is coming out next week is on the brand new Shure SM7DB. This is the 7B, but the new one that just came out, I'm letting someone borrow it right now. And I'm gonna release that video on Tuesday. So if you're watching this video when it comes out, you might not see it yet. But if you are watching this in the future, then you will be able to check out that video once it's out. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so you can see that video when it does come out. So you can check out both of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, many thanks to Sweetwater for sending this over to check out. If you have any other cool gear you want me to check out, please leave them as a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Scott Ewell Music. Once again, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.